Hey, this is Kevin from Maths Rice, and in this video I'm going to show you uh, a result about the sum of all of the entries in the rows of Pascal's triangle and how they add up to uh, a well-known sequence, the powers of uh, 2. So I hope it's interesting. Please do like and subscribe uh, and leave a comment below if you want to. And don't forget to check out the Maths Rice website and the Amazon store where there's loads more stuff uh, like this for GCSC, A-level maths and all sorts of other things there too. So here's another interesting thing about Pascal's triangle. Uh, let's have a look at the sum of each of the rows here. Okay, so the first row just has a one in it, so its sum is one. In the next row, I've got one plus one is two. And then I've got one plus two plus one is four. One plus three plus three plus one is eight. If you add all these together, you see you'll get 16. If you add all of these together, you see you'll get 32. Um, now, looks like we've got that the sum of the rows then are just powers of 2. 2 to the 0, 2 to the 1, 2 squared, 2 cubed, 2 to the 4, 2 to the 5, and the uh, values just keep doubling. Now it's important in maths not to just assume that this pattern goes on forever. There's some famous examples of, of um, sequences that start a bit like this that turn out not to uh, continue in that way. Um, and uh, but why is this true? Actually, when you think about it, it's not too hard to explain, right? Because uh, let's think about how we make this row 1, 3, 3, 1. Okay, so the 1 comes from this 1 here, uh, and the 3 comes from the 1 and the 2 added together, right? Uh, and then this 3 comes from this 2 and this 1 added together, and then I've got this 1 here, which is just the same as this 1, right? So you can see that effectively, um, you know, if I think about this 3 as 1 plus 2, and this 3 as 2 plus 1, then this row 1, 2, 1 is appearing, you know, uh, once um, here, I've got uh, a 2 here, and I've got a, a 1 here from all the left arrows, and from the right arrows I've got another 1, a 2, and a 1. So clearly, uh, you know, the sum of this row is exactly 2 times the sum of the previous row, and we can make exactly the same argument for every row here, so it must be that the row sum of a subsequent row is double the previous one. Okay, so um, you know we've actually proved something that you can uh, write down in a slightly fancy way here if you want to. I mean, what have we shown? We've shown that two to the n is equal to the sum from r equals zero to n of n factorial over r factorial n minus r factorial. All right, but this is really just something. As I say, quite simple, written down in complicated notation. You know, this sigma notation means just sum up from 0 to n uh, these coefficients, and you know that the binomial coefficients n choose r, sometimes written n choose r like this, are just n factorial over r factorial n minus r factorial. So all this means is go to the nth row, remembering we have the convention that this first row is the zeroth row, this one's the first row, etc., um, and add up all of the binomial coefficients from the zeroth one we usually call the first one the zeroth one, um, up to the nth one at the end. And there's n plus one uh, terms in each row. There we go. So that's another interesting thing about Pascal's triangle. As I say, so many uh, interesting results in Pascal's triangle, um, but uh, it's really uh, a treasure trove of mathematical results and interesting curiosities uh, to play around with and explore.